Hey, it's Tom again from Cracked Rabbit Gaming, and a lot of people want to know what the differences are between RPG Maker XP and VX Ace. So I put together this little chart, and I'll give you the quick answer here, and then I'll actually demonstrate them in the programs. Um, so XP came out in 2005, and Ace came out in 2012, but despite XP being almost a decade old as of this, this recording, uh, it still has some features that people really prefer, some people. Um, and so I, I kind of gathered this from a bunch of different forums and things. So this isn't really my opinion. It's just, I'm trying to capture like the general, uh, consensus of the community. Um, but some things are clearly better. And so $30 for XP and $70 for ACE, obviously cheaper is better. Um, now the mapping is the biggest thing. This is like probably without this it wouldn't be much of a debate. <laughs> but this uh, XP has a three layer mapping system that gives you control over all three layers. And a lot of people just love that feature. And in ACE, they changed it to an auto layer system. So you have a lot less control, but you can do parallax mapping. And that's where you actually take your graphics into Photoshop or some other image program. And you can have as many layers as you want because you, you know, you just draw it on your own and then you export that image into your program. And XP has unlimited tile set length, whereas ACE has a limited set, but uh, I'll get more into that once I actually show you the programs. XP has taller characters that are sort of Mac style and or Mac style are modeled after the XP characters, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but Ace has chibi characters which are smaller and they're basically one square size, uh, like one tile size. And I'll get into those reasons too once we look at the editors. Um, four frame animation in XP, three frame in Ace, but uh, even though this is better, I didn't give it a green here just because you can change that with scripts and a lot of these things can be changed. So you can have as many frames as you want in Ace, it's just you have to use a script and you know, whatever. Um, plus four frames is not that much better and the actual characters and things that come with it are already only three frames, they just use an extra frame but it's a duplicate frame, so you're not actually getting better animations from it, so it looks the same. Um, the art style is a little bit different, it's like more subdued, and Ace is a bit brighter. XP has a limit of 40 frames per second, and Ace has 60 frames per second, and it's also a lot better in performance, so even though I think there is a way to change the um, frames per second in XP, the performance is a lot better in Ace, and so you'll probably suffer if you change it um, in XP. I'm not really sure though. Uh, better al alpha blending for graphics, so that's when you have transparency um, that's like not just on or off. It it like blends it al along the edges, so it looks better. Um, XP has 640 by 480 default, which you can change in ACE really easily, so that's not really a big deal at all. Um, although the the, the uh, RTP like art files and things that it comes with are made for this 544 by 416 resolution, so you'll have to resize some of those things. So that um, could be a big deal to you. I don't know, um, but the big deal here is that there's no resolution restriction in XP apparently, but in ACE, it's actually in the DLL file, there's a hard-coded limit, and you can't change that. It would be against the terms of service if you did, um, and I'm not even sure if it would, how well that would work. But, um, but the thing is, the performance is a lot worse in XP, so even if you did use a really high resolution, I don't know, the performance would probably suffer. And also with this art style, with these pixely characters, you probably don't even care about like a really high resolution because it gets blown you know you want it to like have that 16-bit look um usually uh, i think most people who are making these um but it would be nice to have a little bit higher widescreen but anyway uh, ace has an organized event window much better database i'll show all these things in a minute 
um, better scripting with RGSS three instead of one. And, you know, I don't know really the differences between those, but it's just a, a newer version of Ruby and, uh, you, you know, support for it. A lot of people are using ACE now. So, uh, and they, you know, they like it a lot better and it's, I guess, easier to code in, um, in ACE. So you'll have a, an easier time getting help <laughs> if you need it. Then ACE also has support for AUG and MP3 music. Uh, whereas XP just uses MIDI, so you can have better music in Ace. And then there are just like a handful of little things, quick events, dungeon generator, character generator, which is only for the chibi style, so if you don't want that, um, then that generator is not going to help you. Face graphics and messages, shadow pen, key items, things like that. Also, um, the thing about the art in XP versus Ace, you can copy all that art over into Ace if you own both. Um, Legally, you know, you can copy it all um, and use it in Ace, or you can find art styles online if it's free and use it in either program. So that stuff doesn't really matter. Like, you know, I, I definitely prefer the tall characters, and if you watched any of my other videos aside from the beginner series, I do use Mac characters in Ace. Um, so it's easy to do. You can you can use whatever you want. It's just this is just about what it comes with. So let's go over. Um, so here is XP. And so you can see this art style, like these trees, you, once I switch over to Ace, you'll see this tree is way bigger than the trees in Ace. And this tent is way bigger and stuff because it uses the larger characters. And so here's this three layer system. So you can choose like bottom layer, middle layer, top layer, and then also you're going to have it show just the current layer and below. You can show all layers, and then you can dim the other layers. So it gives you more control over what you're looking at. Um, so I'll just do, you know, whatever. Um, also, this only has a few auto tiles for each. Uh, I'll show you once we get to the database. It only allows you to use seven auto tiles, I think. Uh, whereas Ace gives you tons more. So that is kind of a big deal where Ace is better in that regard. Um, so this is all in the bottom layer. Then if I switch to my middle layer, I can um, throw some grass down and you'll see it dims out the rest. And um, see, this is not an auto tile. So if I want to, to draw something like this, I have to actually get each section that I want and it's a little tedious. I'm sure people who are used to it have gotten really fast at it. Um, but that's what that is like. And so the nice thing here is that, so I'm still on this uh, second layer. So let's say I put this tree down and see, and like now when I switch through the layers, you can see everything change. Um, so if I put this tree down and then I decide I actually don't want that grass underneath it, I want something else, uh, I don't know what this is, it's probably just a path, um, then I can go to the bottom layer and I can go like this and now all of, you know, all of this changes but it leaves the stuff that I know I didn't fix this on. <laughs> it leaves this tree exactly where it was. Um, so that's, so let me just switch over to Ace quickly and show you. So here, um, we've got all our tiles here, and so it, you'll see this much smaller tree here. So if I put this tree down and then I decide, actually, I want to put like a path underneath that or dirt or whatever, and I want to draw that on there, well now the tree is gone and I have to go and draw it back again because this is all an auto layer system and I have no control over that it just decides what should go where um, so if you decide to draw some layer underneath then uh, it will get rid of it and so like this has so many more auto tiles and because the characters are small, they kind of changed everything. And like I said, the tree is really tiny here. Um, and again, you can, you can import 
all the art from XP into here, you might have to do modifications and, you know, the auto tiles aren't going to work uh, just as is. But uh, this does make it really easy to just draw things around like these fences because the fence is just, it's, it's an auto tile and it's just a single, um, a single tile for each one. Whereas if I jump back into XP and um, I'm going to have to switch tile sets. So as you can see, this tile set is really tiny. Uh, and if I go here, you can see there's actually 50 different tile sets, which sounds like a ton. But like I said, it only has seven auto tiles. And I think a lot of these are, you know, have repeated graphics. I'm not sure. I haven't looked through all of these. But um, so, of course, that's going to mess up. Um, so there's one with a fence. Let me find where it is. Okay, here's the fence. Um, so as you can see in here, the fence is not an auto tile because it uses two squares. And so just like that other tile I was showing, if I put this down, I actually have to go through and draw like this. And so if I want to, you know, do anything fancy here, oops, it's, you know, takes quite a bit longer, not, you know, it's not crazy or anything, but, and then you also like, oh yeah, that's the wrong one. <laughs> um, yeah, so you have to like find each different part because it's also not centered, so you can't just uh, do that. So it's a little tedious if you're not used to it. Um, but I'll play test this and and now you'll see I can actually run like all the way up to this fence and I go behind it I'm actually slightly overlapping it um, so just with these larger characters it does look a little better although now I can't walk all the way up to it from the side so that looks a little weird um, and if I go over here and play test this And you'll see, you know, it also, see he doesn't overlap it at all that way. He does overlap it a little bit this way. And then also I have to stay like pretty far back. Um, so anyway, it's just different. Um, but then if you do use the larger characters here, then of course all this other stuff kind of starts to look weird yeah, with these tiny fences and these tiny trees and things. But if I go into the database just to show you the uh, tile sets, so now you can see. Um, so if you want to use all these tiles in the same tile set, like on the same map, you have to copy and paste them, like stitch them together in Photoshop. Um, but I guess you can make them pretty much as long as you want. I think people have taken all of them and put them into one giant file, but I don't know how that affects performance. Um, I really haven't used XP to make anything, so that's why I'm mostly going off what I've read and just from playing around with this a little bit. So you can see it does have some really nice tiles though. So uh, it might be worth buying it, especially if it's on sale. You know, if you get it on a Steam sale or if you get it through like the Humble Bundle that's how I got it for like six dollars or whatever you get XP with all this other stuff um, then you get all these tiles and you can use use them in ace now over here in ace if you look this only has four tile sets which sounds like not very many at all 
um, but they have multiple tabs and if you go to the tab A, these are all auto tiles or not, not the very bottom, but um, these ones up here are all auto tiles. And so that is a lot, I mean, it makes it a lot easier um, and a lot faster to map things. And, you know, that's, it's a much bigger graphic than it makes it look in here since this is just showing the thumbnail. Um, so that's something to keep in mind too. So here's an event window in ACE and you know you if you've seen my other videos then I'm sure you're familiar with this you've got like all these different sections that are divided up game progression message movement and everything like that it's all pretty well organized um, but if we go over to XP and we create an event uh, it looks very similar you know a lot of this stuff is you know it almost looks identical but then if we go here you'll see that there are no labels for each section so that makes it um, you know possibly harder uh, I'm sure people who are who started out with XP just know where everything is um, but also show text there's no preview there's no face um, no image to show a face graphic and then even these text options like where to position it and stuff you actually have to use a separate command to change that uh, which I guess is nice if you have a ton that you all want to be like in the middle or something um, but then it also doesn't give you as many options as it does in ACE and this actually has one thing that's nice is it lets you change your window skin which they did not uh, put in ACE although there's a script for it so that's not a big deal it's just a little bit easier in here and um, you know because I'm so used to ace I don't even you know I'd have to like look through all these to see what's missing it's a lot easier to see what's here that's not an ace since I'm so familiar with ace um, they also have fog which is nice and they don't have that in ace so I think some people really like that So let's go into the database now, and a lot of this stuff is the same. This is XP again. Um, the battler graphics are kind of awful looking. I think a lot of people <laughs> much prefer the ace ones. Um, but also, if you just look at the way this is organized, you have to actually go through and check mark everything you want. Uh, you know, some people might prefer that. I don't know. Um, also. All these other things are all check marks. You can change it to A, B, or C, or F, or E. I don't know. Um, skills to learn. And more check boxes. And one thing you'll, you might notice is missing is the actual attack formula. Uh, and I'll show that when I switch over to Ace. But you'll see all these. Here's items. Also check marks. For all this stuff and the icons it doesn't actually show the icon you have to click on this and then go through and find it and also you can't just look through the entire icon sheet visually you have to just like click on the name so ace might make it a lot easier so you can just visually see which icon you want and weapons same deal And then also here are enemies, which also look kind of bad. So there's that stuff. And back over to Ace. And if we look in here, now we have um, features, which is a big thing, where you can actually add all this, this extra stuff that you have control over. Um, can add different skills, weapons you can equip. So this way you can categorize um, what type of weapon you want each character to use rather than doing all the check boxes you can um, just like you can organize things into different categories and then just let 
this character equip that type. You can also do like dual wielding and stuff like that. And classes also features the same thing. So you can either have a class, you can set it by class or you can set it by actual actor. Skills, so here's the big part here is that the damage formula is actually editable and you have way more control over this stuff. And you know, you can control that stuff through scripts, I think, and XP, but it's nice to just have it all right here. Um, so you don't have to like jump back and forth. And items also have formulas you can put in if you want. Weapons have features and all that stuff. And here's what I was talking about with icons. You can just select the icon right from this and then see it right there. And then your graphics. These look much, much better. So. And. That might be about it. Um, I can show you or uh, play some of the music if you want. Um, if, you know, I think most people watching this probably um, have already used Ace, although maybe you're on the fence about which one you should buy. Um, here's the character generator. So you can select your different types of. Uh, things or just randomly generate some really weird looking people. So if you really are making something completely from scratch, um, you know, this is, and you, you know, you're not going to use other people's graphics, then this is stuff to take into consideration. Here's some of the music. I did read some people say that they really like the music in XP, so here's XP. Oh, and here I didn't show the text command in in Ace, but so here's the face graphic. So you can just select a face graphic, and then you can choose if you want it dim or transparent, and what position you want it in, and then you can even preview it. So that's much nicer here than it is in XP. So that's about it. Um, you know, these prices shouldn't really matter because if you're patient, you can get it on a Steam sale. Uh, Ace is on a Steam sale pretty often for 75% off, so that makes it $17.50. Um, but then it was in the Humble Bundle for like a dollar if you, you know, it's a donation thing. So they want you to pay more than a dollar, but you could have paid just a dollar, I think, to get it. Um, but it, I got the highest tier, um, even though I already owned Ace, just because it came with a bunch of extra tile sets and things, and it's totally worth it. Um, and, you know, like I said, get both if you want, <laughs> and uh, it really depends on what you're trying to do and what's important to you, and, and this is by no means definitive, so if there's something that's a deal breaker for you that I didn't mention, you know, feel free to comment and tell everyone what you like about each program. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention was that uh, you'll notice there's no VX, just plain old RPG Maker VX here, even though that one came out in between these two. And that's, you know, probably obvious that it's just because it was a big step up from XP, but then Ace uh, just took VX and added tons more to it and made it way better. And so there's really no real reason to use VX anymore. Um, 
maybe there's someone out there who prefers VX for some reason. I've never used it, so I don't know. But um, as far as I know, it's, you know, there's no like major change uh, or like no, no features that VX has that Ace doesn't have really. Um, maybe some like really minor things, but um, for the most part, yeah, and like nobody's going to use VX over Ace. So, um, I think that's it. Also, I don't expect you to write down this link here. I'll put it in the, the description. Um, but if you want to read more, uh, Arkea is one of like the web staff on RPG Maker, the RPG Maker forums. And he or she posted a, a long list of things in, uh, on the Steam community page. Um, why Ace, you know, just sort of the differences and why a lot of the things that Ace does better than XP. Um, so if you want to get into more of the technical stuff, feel free to check out that discussion. And I guess that's it. I think a lot of people just prefer the one that they started with, perhaps. So people who started with XP and really got used to the mapping system there just can't move over to Ace because they, they just uh, are so used to the three layers and don't want to have to do it a different way in Ace. Um, but like someone like me who started in Ace and also I, I like using Photoshop to parallax map, so it's not really a big deal. I, I do wish that they're, they had the three layer mapping in Ace. Um, that would be really nice, but it's not a deal breaker for me and um, everything else about Ace you know, is, seems to be better. So, um, you know, I think most people who started with Ace and then try XP are going to notice all these things, you know, like with the database, like, why can't I edit all this stuff in the database? Um, and, you know, even if they like the mapping, there's like, well, whatever, I'm used to the auto layers. So I think it's, there's a lot of that going on. Um, but let me know what your opinion is in the comments. Thanks.